Hi, my name is Mark and I'm going to go over some ergonomic tips now that a lot of us have to work from home. Um, the first challenge is picking a space to work. Um, I recommend uh, areas of your home that have some natural light and I think it's important to dedicate a specific area of your home uh, for your work so you can you know, reduce some of the variables that, that can cause interruptions throughout the workday. Um, once you find a good area that you like and, and you feel comfortable with, um, make sure you have adequate lighting in that area. Try to avoid harsh overhead lights. Um, you can always add supplemental lamps or task lighting later, and you want to avoid sources of glare uh, over the work area. The work surface that you choose is important too. I know a lot of us sometimes have to work at a kitchen table or maybe a small work desk in our bedroom or even while sitting on our beds. It's very important that we choose an appropriate uh, work surface. I recommend work surfaces that are between 25 and 29 inches high uh, and have, that have a, enough distance underneath so your legs can comfortably fit under the work surface. If we aren't able to get our legs underneath the work surface, sometimes it pushes us too far away and causes us to overreach. So make sure that work surface has an adequate height and make sure you have room underneath so you can fit your legs comfortably under you. When looking at your monitor, your keyboard, and your mouse, positioning is very important. And I know with a lot of us, because we're working from home now, we have to use laptop computers. If you have to be on your computer for long hours, I recommend that you don't work on a laptop exclusively. Laptops, because the screens are attached to the keyboard, can cause us to lean forward and hunch and to get into awkward postures while we work. Instead of using a laptop, I recommend using a separate docking station and a separate monitor and keyboard so you can position these things independent of one another and help to improve your posture so you can sit back in your chair when you are working. In general terms, you want to keep your keyboard as close to your body as you can so you don't have to overreach to it. Sometimes positioning it too far away will cause us to have to reach excessively and can stress the spine. So always keep your keyboard and your mouse as close to your body as you can. Monitor position should be directly in front of you and your direct line of sight should intersect the screen about a centimeter below the bottom of the top frame. Having your monitor too low can also cause you to hunch forward and stress the spine. So if anything, have it a little bit higher uh, than your direct line of sight. That'll help to keep you back in your chair, help to keep your spine uh, in a supported position. The chair that you use to work in at home, hopefully will have some degree of adjustability. At the very least, I like chairs that have height adjustability and backrest angle adjustability. So you can set it up in a way that your back is supported and that your work surf, your uh, seating surface is high enough so you can use your keyboard without overreaching. Always be aware of your posture when you're working at home. Um, I think a lot of folks tend to hunch forward when they're working at their keyboard for long hours. Um, always try to spend as much time as possible leaning back in your chair so that your back is supported and you're not hunched forward. If you have to use the phone a lot at home, and I know during the, the current uh, situation we're having to teleconference a lot more and use the telephone a lot more, uh, it's important uh, that we use a headset or use a speakerphone on our phones. Uh, and you want to avoid holding the handset of a phone between your ear and your shoulder because that can stress the spine. So anytime you have to be on the phone frequently or you have to make a lot of calls, uh, definitely consider investing in a headset uh, or using the speakerphone option on your telephone. It's important to give your body and your eyes frequent breaks when we are working for home, similar to when you're uh, working in the office. Um, don't sit for any more than an hour at a time. Sit for an hour, then get up and stand and take short walks uh, throughout the course of your workday to break up the activity so that you're not sitting for long periods of time. Um, working at home affords you the opportunity to do some light stretching exercises. Throughout the course of the day, you have more privacy. So certainly get up and do stretching exercises uh, throughout the course of the day to help keep your musculoskeletal system healthy. And remember what I call the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes that you're focused in on your monitor, uh, look away from that monitor at something at least 20 feet away 
for 20 seconds. It's the 20-20-20 rule. Try to remember that. That'll help to prevent eye strain as you're working at your computer all day. Um, take time to eat and drink throughout the course of the day. Uh, you know, take a lunch break like you would when you're in the office. Have healthy snacks nearby. And always remember to keep hydrated throughout the course of the workday.